here is the difference between chemical reaction and nuclear reaction chemical reaction involves some loss gain overlap of outer orbital electrons of the reactant atoms nuclear reactions involve emission of alpha beta and gamma particles from the nucleus here is another difference a chemical reaction is balanced in terms of mass only in nuclear reaction is balanced in terms of both mass and energy in chemical reaction this is important one like energy changes in any chemical reaction is very much less when compared to nuclear reaction the energy changes are far exceed than the energy changes in chemical reaction this is more and this is less that's it in chemical reaction the energy is expressed in terms of kilojoules per mole so no new element is produced since nucleus is unaffected here new elements will be produced isotopes can be produced in nuclear reaction the energy involved is expressed in million electron volt per individual nucleus the reactions are written like a chemical equation so i am trying to show you the following facts which are taken to account while expressing a nuclear reaction the reaction should be given in the chemical equation reactants are written in the left side and the products should be written on the right side with an arrow between them the mass number is written as a superscript on the symbol of the element for example n147 stands for an atom of nitrogen with a mass number 14 and atomic number 7 in a chemical reaction the total number of atoms of various elements are balanced on both the side similarly in nuclear reaction the total mass number and atomic number are balanced on the two sides so the symbols used were projectiles the bombarding particles are called as projectiles these projectiles are represented by the following symbols you are able to see the projectiles here so neutron this is a symbol for neutron this is for proton or hydrogen it's helium or alpha deuteron or deuterium or electron or beta particle and this one is positron these are all considered as projectiles the nucleus to be attacked is called as target nucleus or parent The new nuclei is called as a recoil nucleus or daughter nucleus. The particle ejected this is a parent nucleus. The particle is ejected when this became a daughter nucleus. The particle ejected during a nuclear reaction is called as ejected particle. You are able to see this is called projectile. This is the projectile. This is projectile. and this is ejected particle this is a reaction and this is a product this reaction can be represented as alpha comma p type reaction hence the above reaction is represented as n147 alpha proton p of oxygen this is the output this is how the reaction can be represented here 